What's up, YouTube? Uh, excuse the uh, headless video review you're getting right now, but I can't put my camera any further back than it is. Plus, you're going to get a better view of the cars, and you don't have to see my ugly face. Um, but yeah, just having a beer. And we're going to do a uh, comparison, kind of a little small review of uh, Trax's uh, latest and greatest with their uh, road car, their GT. And, of course, we all know it's on their Fortec 2.0 chassis. We'll talk more about that in a minute. And uh, this is uh, one of the most uh, up and uh, anticipating cars that HPI has released, uh, besides your, of course, the uh, Venture. Um, they're their crawler that, they, you know, was supposed to come out a year and a half or two years ago. This is supposed to be out quite some time ago. HPI, is, is a lot of y'all probably uh, know, and if you didn't know, you're going to know now. They were, you know, almost, you know, kind of uh, frozen for about eight months uh, as they were purchased by another company, and they really had to get everything together parts-wise because you, know, you can't really sell these cars if, you know, if you're just not going to be able to produce the parts. So anyway, long story short, they're shipping them. I bought this at A-Main Hobbies, and... Um, they have a few of them left, so if you're interested, just go to A-Main or uh, eBay. These are both brush units. Um, I think one of the bigger selling points for both of them, you know, right off the bat, was their shells. Now, personally, I give the uh, win for the shell to uh, HPI. However, there are some things on the Traxxas. Um, that I definitely like and what those are as you can see here on the back you have the built-in metal exhaust pipes in the back it does have the built-in diffuser um, as does the uh, Ken Block version or the uh, HPI it has the real uh, headlights, um, you know, the, the, they, don't, they don't work, of course, but, I mean, it's got the real deal um, instead of just stickers. Now, I'm not quite sure why Traxxas would put the real deal on the back and then just leave the stickers on the front, but that was what they did. Um, whereas on the HPI, it's all stickers, and... I'm pretty sure uh, this is either hydro dip. It, it is all wrapped, like all of the front bumper. Um, this is all car fake looking carbon fiber. It's all wrapped. You can see it's not the best of the job, but I mean, it, you know, best they could do. But it, this is also wrapped uh, on the hood as well. Um, right here. Of course your window decals and there's also a sticker over the uh, little metal looking uh, rear bumper but nevertheless they're both really good looking machines um, both of these units from the factory are brushless ready um, this one just came out and started shipping this one's been out for a little while now um, on the Traxxas they already have the brushless available so we all kind of know you know that are into the uh, Traxxas products and then are up to par on what they got. They've had the VXL uh, already out. I am going to upgrade this to brushless soon. And I'm also going to upgrade this bad boy to brushless. So they're both brushless ready from the factory. So that's quite nice. Um, going ahead and popping off the shelves. Um, you know, both of them are very beautiful. And you're not going to be disappointed with either one. But I definitely give the holy shit, you know, the wow factor. I'm gonna have to give that to the uh, to the Hoonigan body. Um, but again, the Traxxas body is also, you know, very nice as well. So, all right, uh, vehicles. I actually took some uh, measurements and um, basically. The width of the tub chassis is virtually identical. Uh, the length of the vehicles is identical except for you have about 
an inch and a half more. And that's simply due to there's like a little rear bumper that kind of sticks out past the uh, actual uh, you know rear diff of the rear of the car. Whereas on the HPI, um, you know, it stops right there. So um, when you measure it, it's, this one is just an inch and a half longer. But when you flip them upside down, And you put them wheel to wheel, you can clearly see, you know, which one actually, that one is a little bit longer. And it's mainly because of the piece. But as far as the chassis go, or the wheels go, the wheelbase, it's identical. Your sub chassis are identical for the most part. Um, now, I do like the look of the layout of the HPI, honestly, uh, a little better than the Traxxas one. Um, it's a little bit lower center of gravity. Not much, but it's definitely, uh, you cannot fit your fingers under, underneath the uh, HPI at all. And I can actually get my fingers underneath, my whole finger, all my fingers, you know, underneath uh, this chassis. So, you know, that's a pretty big difference. So definitely a lot lower on this unit for the HPI. Um, as far as stock electronics go, uh, you're going to have to give the edge to the Traxxas, um, only because... The uh, LiPo battery, you know, cutoff comes standard and already set to that, uh, you know, factory to that. Um, factory setting is on the LiPo, excuse me, for the Traxxas model. Um, but you can change it with the press of a button, okay? On this model here, on the, their ESC, of course, it has jumper cables. And basically, it's, uh, it's three pins. So if you have it far over to the left on the back, that's going to get you the... Uh, lipo setting and if you push this you pull it out with the tweezers it's just a little bitty you know uh, like a battery connector that goes into the three pins um so you move it over if you want to do nickel metal hydrant so you know super simple no you know you don't have to press any buttons or no to get the manual out to find out the codes or or you know that not the codes but the sequence of you know what lights to look for and what to do etc uh, this would be a little bit easier to switch from lipo to nickel uh, motor wise um, you're gonna have to get the edge of this one I have ran both of them uh, I'm gonna go with this and be a little faster but it is a uh, 12 turn and over here we just got a can motor from uh, HPI and it is a 15 turn I don't know this is a 550 I think the one on this one is a 540 but I don't know if it's gonna say anywhere on here and it does not appear that it does so anyway we'll probably have most likely at 540 um but that's my guess um electronic waterproof or the electronics are waterproof uh, the general suspension layout i mean for the most part you know it's very similar um there's not a significant difference for the front and really the same thing for the back um, i mean the layout from factory is very very similar now the only thing this has adjustments on with the hpi does it on the front um, is there's two holes on the c hubs that allow you to change the angle of the bottom uh i don't know what they call that the tie rod or what but look, it does appear there's just a little bit more adjustability with the uh, Traxxas chassis than the uh, HPI. Now, I would assume aftermarket-wise would allow you to pretty much customize these to however you want. Um, but this car, it's not advertised as a drift. Now, of course, I think a lot of people assume that it would be because... From the video, obviously, that is a drift car in real life. Um, they did not include drift tires. Um, I'm a little disappointed. I think that the, the drift tires are not that much more, you know, another 20 bucks. And they could, they should have thrown those in. But they didn't. Um, they're also, um, you know, you're going to have to give the wind to Traxxas to a degree. I really don't like the way that what they've done and what they're doing with their new connectors. Because all of my batteries are the Venom batteries. And 
you know the molds aren't that good half the time and they're real hard to get them to plug into the Traxxas ones and even though they are Traxxas um, Traxxas has gone to a new plug essentially they're trying to make it where you know a little more difficult I should say or you have to have an extra piece uh, adapter they really want you buying their batteries that's what it really comes down to their batteries they're charging so um, I'm actually pretty disappointed about it and they're very difficult apparently to get you know uh, connectors at times so i'm done i'm actually going to cut off every one of my traxxas connectors on all my vehicles in fact my non-traxxas i had traxxas soldered on so i'm going to remove these and go with a, probably the xt90 um, something um you know a little bit better and quite honestly uh, plugs in and in and out easier and uh you know don't, i don't have to worry about it and i can still um I don't know if Venom makes any with the XT90 connection, but if not, I'll have to get my batteries done as well. But I'm okay with that. I just want to go with some different connectors than Traxxas, and that's that. So, got 2S LiPo in both of them. Uh, Weight-wise, um, the um, GT is a little heavier. Um, there's no if, ands, or buts about that. I would say, you know, I don't know, several ounces. I mean, I'd have to weigh it to give you precise, but... It's noticeable. I mean, you know, when you're going up and down, I mean, you're, you can actually feel a little more strain on this muscle than you can on the left. The left just, you know, doesn't really do anything. So I can go like this all day, but the right feels like it would wear your arm out after a little while. So it is definitely heavier. Um, chassis is a little thicker, obviously, the, the uh, height of the chassis. So you really just got a lot lower to the ground, a lot lower center of gravity. Um, with this vehicle, the uh, HPI. Tires, um, these tires here for the Traxxas, you're basically an inch and almost a quarter, not quite, but very, very close. So inch and a quarter on the back, and then the front just a, just right at an inch, uh, maybe just a, yeah, right at an inch. So you got bigger tires on the back than you do on the front for the uh, GT. Now for the HPI, we're looking at an inch and a quarter all the way around. So you got the same size tires front and back. Um, tire wise, as far as the tread goes, when you rub your finger across the GT40, it just, you know, not, not no real major resistance. Um, when you go across these, I mean, they glue down. I mean, there is definitely, these are, have a lot more grip to it, no questions asked. Now, one thing I will say, these tires are a lot more firm. These tires, they definitely give more for sure. Um, so these are probably going to hold up a little better. Um, so I'll have to give the wind as far as the compound for uh, wearability. I'm assuming it's going to be this one. But for grippability, um, these are definitely going to grip well. And they are, I don't think they're going to, I think they're going to grip better than the Traxxas. Um... Other than that, I mean, the wheelbase is the same. The width of the chassis was the same. The length was a, virtually identical. Um, you have, you know, a little better, faster electronics over here than you do on this unit. Both are brushless ready, so you can upgrade them, you know, whenever. And, um, you know, this, is, to me, they're, they're very close to the same price. Um, you know, one other feature or, or difference, I should say, you have an exposed drive shaft. On the road, it's not as big of an issue. Now, if a rock gets caught in between there, you know, obviously that could be a potential issue. Um, you know, it can happen. Um, whereas with this unit, the drive shaft is completely sealed. Now, you simply access it from the bottom here. And it's got two screws in the front and four in the back, so six uh, little hex screws. Then you have full access to most likely the spur. Well, yeah, you have access to the spur gear and also the drive shaft. So that's kind of nice. I might have to give the win to that, to the uh, HPI. Um, this uses Velcro. You know, Traxxas has their own little uh, simply latch that just clicks into place. You press the lever down to remove your battery. You can flip this around for different sizes. Um, so I like that, but it's not a, a, a the Velcro is fine as well. I mean, I don't really, you know, that wouldn't be a selling point personally to me. Um, 
antenna does stick out of this one here. So perhaps you'll get better reception. I really couldn't tell you that. I have not done a test to confirm. There is no antenna sticking out of this one on the HPI. Um, waterproof electronics on both. Um, suspension. There, I mean, at the end of the day, let me see here. Okay. It's pretty close, um, but the shock does appear to be a little longer. Let me just measure here, because that can be a little deceptive. We gotta be, we gotta be for sure. So from bottom to the top, we're at two and three quarters. So close to three inches. And when we go to the bottom of this one, it is right at two inches. So, wait, no, 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 I'm sorry. Two and a half, let me set this down here and see if I can get a little better measurement. Okay, so apparently, unless I measured wrong, guys, I probably did. Okay, so two and a half for this shock in the front. And, okay, both are two and a half. So, I mean, they're pretty close. I mean, I can't really give a significant, I can't tell a significant difference between the two. So I'm going to say suspension wise, you know, they're fairly close. Again, this is going to be much lower to the ground. Now I did run this unit and didn't put the body back on. And uh, because it's so low to the ground, it's just like a real car, you know, it really wants to scrape um, the uh, lower bumper vans or whatever you want to call it. I forget what they call it. But, uh, whereas this one, it's probably going to be a little better for if you have an asphalt street that has, um, yeah. I mean, again, I get my finger underneath that. Yeah, actually, I get my fingernail. You can get more. It's definitely got a higher ground clearance in the front for sure than this one. So if you have an asphalt blacktop, smooth, this one. If you got a street like mine where it's all a bunch of pebbles and, you know, there's little loose rocks and crap like that, I'd probably say this one. Um, because this body's so nice, it's, you almost don't want to just destroy it on their first few runs. So, um, but I did run it. It wasn't, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a brush motor guy. So it definitely, in my opinion, for, for, I, you know, for my skill set and, you know, my experience in the hobby, I definitely would be happier with brushless. Um, also I'm going to get drip tires for both units and we're going to have fun with, you know, regular tires and the drip tires. When I upgrade this to brushless, I will go ahead and get the high-speed tires that Traxxas has available. Um, it's even a, a firmer, tougher compound for brushless. So, you know, compound-wise, tire-wise, you know, te technology-wise, I think Traxxas has the upper hand um, as far as, you know, the tires, you know, not ballooning and having better, you know, lo longevity for a stock tire. Uh, and that's going to be the case in the new X-Max 8S. It's a much better tire than the 6S was, and it, they're doing fairly well. And, um, of course, the VXL version has the high-speed rated tires as well. So, but, guys, that's really it. Um, oh, only other two things. I mean, at the end of the day, the controllers, you know, personally, um, you know, they're about, I don't know. I mean, guys are ready to run controllers. So, I mean, you know, this one... It's going to have the multifunction knob, I mean, steering trim, this, that, you know, at the end of the day, they both get the job done. I mean, they're, there you go. I mean, they're just standard ready to run controllers, so uh, that's that. Uh, manuals, Traxxas has two. We got a color manual here. Basic stuff about the car, and then your exploded view, and your, all your little lawyer knick-knack crap is uh, here. Okay, so you got two 
Whereas on the HPI, um, their exploded view, everything, all their information is in one. But it's also black and white. So, you know, at the end of the day, it, they both suffice. Um, Traxxas is, you know, a little bit better, of course, as far as, uh, you know, the main manual, learning about the ESC, programming it, general basic questions on your transmitter. They have a little bit better there. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Well, be sure to, uh, you know, like the video, um, subscribe, comment if you have any questions or if there's anything, you know, you want me to uh, talk about on the next video because uh, I am going to run both of them. I was going to film this one, but because of the street not being that great, I, I wrote it in my driveway. It's a little bit smoother, but it's not that large and it's just, it wasn't going to be anything worth a crap. So I'm going to take it out tomorrow. There's a possibility I'll take it out late tonight in the parking lot somewhere. I'm not going to make